Seth. Two. Edward Shahady. Three. Dan Scar. Lopez. One. Frank Smith. Come on. Get your ruts overhead. Get him overhead. Not me. My six words are, become the man my family deserves. Logs make a great painful device. <laughs> because they're horribly awkward and cannot get that thing from A to B without some friends. This weekend. Got some yeah. Bro Rock stuff coming up, huh? Yeah. Why would a fellow want to do something like that? Good question. Right? They just want to be tested. Yeah. Challenged. Pushed to their brink. Yep. They want to know. And uh, everything feels like it's going off the rails. That's right. <laughs> Pull up your big boy pants. Yep. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> yeah, the forecast is in the high, high 30s and 20 plus mile an hour winds gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Uh, I think it's a low of 37. And brother, that's cold when you're out there for hours and hours. And it's even colder when you're soaking wet. And it's supposed to rain all night. That should be fun. Uh, grow ruck distance is uh, undisclosed. So I'd say anywhere from 16 to 25 miles uh, through water, through the woods, on roads, on sidewalks, through the grass being lost, uh, always carrying heavy stuff. Guys that sign up for a grow ruck, I think are searchers. But these are guys that aren't quite sure what they're capable of. And they know just enough to know that that's gonna be figured out somehow through the night. Everybody does not complete the grow ruck. Um, I've seen people go to the hospital for frostbite. I've seen people uh, get injured. I've seen people just walk away, but that's really not what it's about. Yeah, it's hard and everybody won't finish. Everybody shouldn't be there. But every single time there are plenty of men who are positive that they can't go on. They quit, they give up. Uh, and if it's not for the rest of the group, they wouldn't finish at all. You can't finish it as an individual, you just can't. It's not designed to finish as an individual. You have to work together as a team. You have to be there to help your brother when they raise their hand and say, I'm done, I can't do it anymore, I quit, don't know why I'm here. Uh, you gotta help that guy get through. Carry his pack, uh, words of encouragement, walk with him. Cause you know what? An hour from now, two hours from then, you might be that guy. The role of the cadre is push you, test you, keep you accountable, and teach you a little bit about leadership and a lot about what you're really capable of. These guys have all had military experience. They've all had leadership positions. Uh, they've all been in adverse conditions and they all know something about digging a little deeper and uh, taking your body and your mind to places it's never been before. So they're kind of uh, mentors that you don't like very much throughout the course of the night. That's what they are. It's good, it'll be good. Welcome to Grow Ruck 17. We have guys here from 15 different regions. 
How many guys here have never done a ruck event before? How many first time? So that's about 20 plus. All right. Well, it'll be warm and it'll be dry. My job is to charge you up a little bit, right? We all filled our guts up, ate as much as we wanted. And you know what? There's hardly anywhere else in the world they can say that. I mean, you think about it. This thing we have here is unique and rare and it don't come for nothing. It comes because we have leadership and we have men and women who are willing to fight and die to preserve that. Somewhere tonight, some man or woman is wearing a uniform, the United States military is engaged in some sort of combat operation. And that's why for just a little bit, just a little bit, we adopt some of the things that are part of that military ethic. We do it for this reason, to invigorate male community leadership. Leave no man behind, but leave no man where you find him. I don't care how many bad choices you've made or how many consequences that have come down upon you because of your bad choices. In the heart of every man beats the heart of a warrior, of a lion. And once he has gotten picked up and scraped off and missionalized, his heart is going to drive him to help others. See, that's what we're all about, right? Not just going into a community and saying, all right, brother, stand up. You're perfect the way you are. I know how you feel because I was once there too. The wind's gonna howl tomorrow night and you're wet and you're cold and you're hungry and you're wondering why you're doing this. And I'm gonna give you the answer. You're doing it for your brothers. Write that in your box, right? Keep that close to your heart tomorrow when things are getting tough. I'm doing it for my brothers and that will enable you to drive through. All right? Run down to that corner, 10 Turkish get up. You gotta go down to that corner, 10 burpees. This corner, 10 sumo jump squats. Got it? Go. You have six? Yeah. All right, you got this. Good work. Some people worried about themselves, some people weren't worried about the rest of the team. It's a good lesson for tonight. Got it? Three, uh, one, two, three, six. What do you guys think tonight's going to be like? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Tell me. 11 more hours. It's the small things. Those little things. Just little surrenders along the way. Build up the calories, all right? All right. All right. And if you're breathing hard, right, and you can't get your breath, that's when you're going to give in. Three things you did well. Three things you can improve upon. Yep. Let's give it one more chance. One more. Lead right. these men in 10 reps to the side shot hop. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, oh. You got the commands. Next exercise is side straddle hop. Start position move in cadence. Exercise. Next exercise is side straddle hop. Side, side straddle hop. hop. In cadence. Exercise. One, two, three, nine. nine. One, two, three, oh. Oh. Three things you did well. All right, three things you can improve upon. The first thing you're going to do, though, is you're going to give the guy next to you a fist bump and say, aren't you glad you got to sit next to me today? And make sure you know. All right, so do that. Welcome to Grow School. Right now, F3 operates in 30 states. We've got 2,000 AOs, and we estimate approximately 35,000 men are working out with F3 on a weekly basis. We've got Coach Metzer in the back. 
I want to thank him for the use of uh, this facility. Thanks, Coach. You know, if you look in that room, there's a legacy, there's faith, there's a, you know, a sign that says it doesn't matter who gets the credit. You know, and I think that's a byproduct of being a servant leader. You know, whether it's spiritual faith or faith in our program or faith in your brother on your right and left, and, and how do you exhibit that in your everyday life? How do you exhibit that when adversity strikes? When I walk in a place like this, which is all about the leadership, right? I can see it all over. There's not pictures of Coach Metzger all over the wall. There's pictures of the players, right? There's pictures of the players everywhere. How do you want to leave your legacy? How do you want to live beyond yourself? You get right, then you live right, so that you can lead right, so that ultimately you can leave right. What can we do as a team to get 1% better? At two o'clock in the morning when the gloom hits hard, prepare to be humbled. Because guess what, in F3 we leave no man behind and we leave no man where we found them, which means that when you're humbled, you will have that opportunity to reach out that hand and your brother will be there beside you. You gotta combine to advantage. And the first place you gotta do it is right there at home. Hi. So what does one eat before you do a grow run? Not this. Not Mexican, I've learned that the hard way. We can tell them you're wrong. You know what, you can get there, you're wrong. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, right. What my, my thinking is, right. <laughs> then you're like, what? All right, all right. So I love this. Right? Do what I do. And what, what I always use it for is to force them to come up with a different communication set of words. So we'll go up this road, and then we got some right there. Once that goes, we blow a whistle. They both have a different message. This is about communication. This is about how hard it is to get team leader keeping the cats in line when they have no idea how to actually execute. Hit another one, right, and bust it, bust it down completely. These guys are all blindfolded. Back in the front, back in the back, back in the front, back in the back, or belly back. This guy is the only guy that can see. So set a 10 minute timer. This trail is open. There's some water inside this trail that you have to go through. It looks like it's probably five feet. That might be the best. We also used to call you rhino chest, which is not bad. Rhino chest and alligator trucking thumbs. What do you think? I was concerned about the unknown. Well, it's going to happen, and I'm not really concerned about everything. <laughs> Walk me through what's in the rucksack and how you packed right. it and prepared it. Got a 20 liter rucker, bladder, Nalgene, 30 pound plate, mask, a little something for the ears, and a little bit of nutrition, electrolytes. Uh, pack a jacket in the ruck and off we go. Think I got enough, maybe too much. Would you trade your ruck for somebody else's? I would if I trusted that man and I trust all these men. You bring your baby blanket? Is that what that is? I did. I'm Linus. I'm the Linus of the Ruck Squad. Are you nervous? No. A little bit. No. Point to who overpacked the most. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an 80 pound Ruck. Yeah. Boy Scout, be prepared. Be prepared, baby. It's got to right. be about 60 pounds. He doesn't need a coupon to carry tonight. Yeah, That's got, the trick. He's got snacks for everybody. Snacks for everybody. <laughs> oh man, waffles. We got some energy chews. We got a couple protein bars. Beef jerky. Beef Ready to go. You brought any water? What? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna find your weakness. You may not. You may not even know what it is, but they're gonna find it. I got to sit in on the cadre planning, and I'll just say that they're committed. <laughs> or should be. It's a test you can't prepare for. I mean, you can, but I mean, you don't know what's gonna happen on the test. We're starting our admin phase, a little shock and awe, um, a little problem solving right away. But these guys are currently trying to put themselves in alphabetical order. So with their last names, which they're kind of unfamiliar with, 
and uh, they're under pretty tight time hack. So we'll get warm and uh, we'll continue building on this evolution. They couldn't get their water out of their bags quickly enough, so I just picked up their ruck and ran. They tried to say it's because they didn't get clear enough instruction. I have been a no. There's no clear instruction to take your water to shredder. <laughs> That's pretty clear. Go ahead and put that over your heads. Hurry up! You got people standing here waiting on you! If you're not going faster than you are right now, you're going too slow. Just because you're uncomfortable in the down position is absolutely irrelevant to the team. Discomfort is a way of life tonight. Up your knees, up your knees, stop cheating. Once you hear a whistle, you've got exactly two minutes to retrieve your reflective device. Your reflective device and have it back to Cadre Shredder. Who else needs that? Who's is this? Yeah. Does he mean? Are we heading back down? Is it just, is it, does it really matter if it's yours or not? Who are you? Penso, Stern, and Lost. Rick and Ralph. We tend to turn them off, turn them off. You have to turn that off. It's a Is it Because a lot of the time we're going to be moving it in the darkness. And if we need to brighten up like a Christmas tree, you're going to hear lightning and everybody's going to turn it on. Push up position. Lightning. Three, two. Get back to your rucks. Get them packed. Hurry up. Jeff, punch it! Moving! David Jackson! Moving! Jones, Matthew! Here! Starting position, move! Kinda slow. Yeah. Ruck up and buckle up! Ruck up and buckle up! On your chest! Ready? One. Right. 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 Ready. One. Right. Ready. Two. Left. 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 Right now we're using uh, physical stress to apply pain, to wear down their will, and help them work as a team. Now listen up very closely. I'm going to give you 15 seconds counting down. Then we're going to stop. And you're either going to be in alphabetical order, or you won't be. If you're not in alphabetical order, I will force you to bear crawl someplace other than right here. And then get in alphabetical order, and you won't like it. So make it happen now. On your feet. Hurry up. You see that team up there? Get up beside that team. Simple task. Bear crawl down. Up and over the rail, meet at the 50 yard line. You can do whatever you got this, man. You got this. You got this. You got this. Teamwork is teamwork. Bear claw. I got some wing on. For the most part, we've been rotating between the three cadre. We have three cadre out here myself, cadre DS, and cadre Dread. Um, and we've been rolling from one person to the other, just doing drills, basically trying to give them a little bit of opportunity to work as a team. Um, give them an opportunity to be a little fatigued and find that, that level of fitness that they weren't quite ready for um, and let them have an idea of what tonight looks like. Uh, and then we wanted to get them together. So they've been climbing up and over these rails, bear crawl down the bleachers, stressing their bodies, focusing their minds on working together, focusing their minds on staying together. Simple. And we want them to accomplish that. Once they get used to doing what we ask them to do, we think that they'll start performing more efficiently and more effectively. Bombs, right? Warheads on foreheads. I did that. Okay? I uh, had a great time. I joined the military in 1981. I'm a former United States Army Special Forces soldier. I was an 18 Charlie. And I was also got to deploy on a Special Forces uh, A team in Operation Desert Storm. Uh, but I take it very seriously as a go ruck cadre to challenge, train, and test you guys. And if you don't want to be here anymore, it's not just as simple as, hey, don't quit, right? That's, that's really easy to say when we're just heart rates elevate a little bit. But I challenge you to go tell everybody else on your team why you might not necessarily want to be here anymore and then drive on, okay? Don't come to me because I'm not going to beg you to stay. That's not, my, that's not what I'm here for. So hopefully it's cold and wet enough, dark enough, 
and tough enough for you guys to advance uh, your skills as a leader. Any questions about that? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. function of the slowest people to always have to speed up. Sometimes it's the function of the strong to look behind them and leave no man behind. Alright, alright. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wait, 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 knees, knees, on three, on three, one, one two, two, three, knees, right. why are you two not in line? On your sticks, one, two, three, oh, oh. gosh, <laughs> that's your name, wait, wait, wait. move that gear, oh. Oh. move the gear, move it, yeah, move the gear, move the gear, move it, get oh, it, move it, let's go, get it, move it, stop telling him to stop, move the damn gear, Move that gear! Get it off of your body! Get it off, body! Your job is to move that gear! Boys, Hurry up! Oh, gotta get better! Keep, Keep, Keep the gear moving! The logs coming! Keep it moving! Right Keep the gear moving! 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 They got a 600 pound log. It's imperative that under heavy objects like this that you work together. You have acquired some gear. And you're going to have to figure out how to move it and keep up with all these timelines. So you Dave. You don't have a coupon, make sure the lines are red, white, blue. Yep, right. And security in the center. You're going to put a formation up on top. Okay. I'll make it happen and you tell us what you want us to do. Yeah. Each one of your platoons is going to have three squads in it, right? Three squads. That's a rank. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. All right, you got that? All right. One, step up behind you. Step up behind you. Guys, who's next to you? Three, two, one, left. All right, raise your hand. That's the line. Let's push up. Starting position move. In case. In case. See what Cadre Shredder's doing? Stop looking at me. Look at him. See? There you go. See what he's doing? Now where do you think the second squad leader goes? Red behind leader, go where you think the second squad leader goes. Touch his back. There. Arms down. Now where do you think the rest of the guys go? Yeah, that's right. You guys fall in on me. I'm the company commander, right? And then your first squad leader falls in on you. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. See how easy that is? Rest of the squad falls in right next to him, right? You always fall in to the left. Left, left, left. I make sense? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I just need to clarify one yeah, thing. No, you guys can <laughs> what, what, what happened in my team was guys were like, okay, yeah, right. Uh, that's which where, that's which line do I fall in? We're going to try to do it again. You're going to hold your right hand up. You fall in line behind him, touch his shoulder. Face left. Forward. Hold. I think they're for dancing. I don't think they're for rugging. Literally tore a hole through that thing, huh? It blew out. So we just spent uh, probably about 20 minutes working out how to get in formation. And then we spent some time learning about accountability. First of all, accountability of personnel. Second of all, accountability of equipment. So we got that divided up. We got individual leaders appointed for the platoons. And now we're making our first movement and working that out. Go, 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 go. 
Go, 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 Keep it tight, Blue. All men are covered. Right, we got everything for. Yep. All right, we're good. All right, here we go. Distance is two miles. Morganton and Montreal. Yep. What kind of time do we want to give him? What do you think? Uh, we'll ask him. Where's my team leader? Yes, sir. How long is it going to take you to move two miles? A long time. How long? <laughs> uh, about 40 minutes, probably. How much? About 40 minutes. I'm going to give you 27. Yes, sir. Let's go. You start moving in one minute. Yes, sir. All right. Y'all heard him? Right. Yeah, more guys ready to move. Mm -hmm. Six of them. Six of them. Six of them. This movement is designed to do one thing, work them, keep them together, teach them how to work as a team, and keep them just moving together and keep getting more and more efficient and effective. All right, all right, all right, right, right here. We missed our time back by two minutes. We are on strap restrictions. It cannot go on your front. We cannot use our hand strap. Hey, if, we're, if we're slow, if we're missing time hacks, we're gonna pay the price, right? You're gonna pay the man if you're missing time hacks. Yeah, you move it, no short shots. 40, people couldn't keep up. 39, 38, 37, we're getting ready to kill them. 36, 3, 2, 1, freeze! Stop! Freeze! In front of your face, in front of your face. And nothing about a formation looking at, this is ridiculous. Look around you. And tell me if this looks like a formation. Just turn around, all of you, look around. See what's going on. What team has less than they started Wait, we're with? Count ourselves. We're not counting ourselves. We're not counting ourselves. So we're Why not? <laughs> Just thought of that now. <laughs> Except the blame. I'd be reminded. Hey, Captain, let's before. step over here. Steel plates, weights, 45 pounds, 25 pounds. Just split everything up and bring it all back here. You want us to bring our whole platoon over there? Yes, you need to go to Cadre Diaz and go get your... With the whole, the whole platoon. Um, uh, well, why don't we take a squad? Why don't we take a squad? Just, go. Just we'll get some we'll, people to we'll go. Get squad. We'll get a squad. Right. Thank you. So we've given them some weights, uh, some, some plates they can use as wheels. We've given them a pallet to use as a body, poles to use as axles, and have them put together a contraption to haul their gear. We've given them a time hack. They've got to move out quickly. It, 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 it runs, but it doesn't run very well, and that, it's heavy. And what we're getting ready to do in a couple of minutes is kill their leaders so they have to carry them and take one of their wheels. So it's going to get a lot harder in a minute. What was the uh, what was the problem solving you guys did? Spare. Retire. Spare. Retire. Retire, man. Hey, I can't bust you for being smart. <laughs> Solid work. Leaders lead, followers make it happen. <coughs> make little adjustments on the fly if you can, if you have time. Otherwise, just go with what you got, right? From our perspective, you're improving. Even your chaos is getting more organized. And that's important. That you're going to figure out all your strengths and weaknesses. It's now the time. You can see the clock. You got a long way to go. <laughs> and a long distance to go, and a lot more work to do. So as we become more and more fatigued, and it becomes more difficult to stay focused, 
You just really need to stay engaged. You need to help anybody who needs help. You need to communicate if you need help. Continue to build your team. Continue to build your communication, and we're gonna help you when you fail. We're gonna continue to improve, continue <coughs> to motivate, continue to work. You guys are doing a fine job right now. I'm free. I'm pleased. All right, anything else good that they did? Boom, you're fired. Thank All right, thanks, sir. You guys, uh, you guys got have already got new leadership. First start. Step up. You're new. Company commander. Right. Come on up. Now we are back. Hey, you right, I'm your new company commander. Uh, we're going to meet up with the uh, team leaders real quick. What's your name? I'm the fly. Nice to meet you. Our objective is to totally get to the hospital. Friendly reminder guys, hydrate for it. One, two, three, pick it up. All right. All right, guys. Come around this tree. Dodge to the left. Dodge to the left. Good work. Oh, yeah. You got to go over that way. Good job. Enjoy. Thanks for being the closest. I'm going to get another shot. You got it? All right, get in there. Just like we just did. You guys get that? We do. Now, man, let's go. Red one, red two. Red one, red one. Five minutes or 50 burpees. Are we clear? This is where you want to be. This is where you start to find out how much more you have. Good simple stuff, right? You don't have a job? Find something. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Even if you're the lowest guy on the totem pole, right? You left this team so far in the woods. You have to stay in game. You have got to keep up. Alright guys, let's get to that team. Y'all gotta start moving before I can move. Hey, hey! Uh, you alright? Oh. Uh, holy crap. Come on, guys. We got 20 feet, guys. Go! We got it. Go. Keep it going, Blue. Let's go regular. Blue. Keep going. Dang. Dang. Oh, come on. Shit. I can see him. Right here. Good. Get on your feet. Let's go. Blue C. Hold up. So I'm uh, Chris McNamara. I'm the owner of Evolution Athletics. That's where we're at right now. I did uh, seven years in 175, so 1st Ranger Battalion, and then for the last 12 or so I've been up at uh, Army Special Operations Command. Right now we're going to do a workout, a 300 workout in tribute to one of the fallen soldiers that some of the guys here know. How do you think they're going to do? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's got 25 pull-offs to start off with, so I don't know how much they got left. And then uh, get into some like relatively heavy weight, so we'll see how their backs are doing. I don't know how many hours we've been going now, but it should be a good time. <laughs> I ate all my snacks by like midnight. Thank you. You guys are kicking ass, man. I don't know how you feel, but I'm telling you, you're kicking ass. It may not feel that way. I also need you to know, you are exactly where we want you to be right now. If you feel like quitting, don't. There's no value in quitting at this point. It's right now where this shit gets serious. But to get you outside of your comfort zone, for some of you, this is what we're gonna do. Next exercise will be 50 box jumps. Next exercise will be 50 floor wipers. Next exercise will be 50 single arm clean and jerks. And then finishing off <coughs> 25 pull ups. How many reps does it equal up to? 300. Pretty simple. All right, here we go. Start 300. Where are we doing? Three, two, 
one, go! Your team is here to pick you up. Look around, maybe you're stronger than some of the people who have done this before. It's time to really be thinking about your teammates and working through this, this effort, all right? We have more in you, let's do it. That was great. Hey, that was really good. You guys had a lot more in you. The uh, shortest short story in the world is baby shoes for sale, never used. Anybody ever hear that? Yeah. The six words should be a story that describes why you're here. Anybody want to share this? Yeah, I do. Stand up, bro. Better father, better husband, better man. I'm strong if you're strong, brother. Temporary discomfort drives growth and improvement. Chasing stronger men makes you stronger. A life-giving spirit to all. To strengthen, honoring, and valued people. I do this for my family. They said I shouldn't do it. Making myself a better husband, leader. Live to serve, serve to live. Learning as I go, seeking guidance. Better today, stronger tomorrow, harder always. Make myself 1% better daily. Hardships keep me focused on trying to Save by grace and you. Roll run. America. God first, family always, self surrender. Die. 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 You guys completely came through. Uh, had a guy thrown up. Uh, another guy winded. You guys, you guys totally rallied around those. Helped him out. And uh, yeah, I'm just super proud. I'm gonna keep you guys in charge some more. Right on. All right. Because that was pretty good. I like that a lot. I'm gonna keep them in charge. You guys have a problem with that? No, no sir. sir. Don't uh, get sloppy. I've done 18 of these things, and now's the time you start getting sloppy. If you get sloppy, something bad likely to happen. We got two miles. This might be the hardest two miles you've done tonight. We got things to do still. We're not afraid to pack it on at the end at the end of these events. We're not afraid at all to pack it on at the end of these events. In fact, it's one of our goals is to continuously push, 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 pressure, pressure, pressure. We want to see what you have. We now have some people that maybe are at their limit. Maybe they're there right now. I don't know. The majority of you guys are not there yet. You guys have more in you. If that was any indication, you got more in you. You got enough so that you could finish this thing crawling if you have to. If your buddies were, were begging for help and they were struggling, you could pick them up and carry them right now if you had to. If your family in your homes and your home was on fire, you'd be able to rush in and pick them up and drag their ass out. And you would do it. If you were a soldier and you were in combat, all you'd be thinking about is helping your buddy to your left and your right. And that's who you'd be fighting for, your brothers. We got two miles to go. You guys ready? All right. All right. All right.
You understand my point. I don't have to tell you. You're grown men, you know the real. All right, that's, I think, the safest way to do okay. it. dangerous things we do is return to our base. Sometimes we only have one way in or one way out if we're not paying attention, right? And that's always a problem. So we always try to have more than one way in, one way out. But sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes they see us when we're coming back. Sometimes they see us when we're going out and they wait till we're coming back. Okay. And then they kill us. And sometimes it's as dramatic as 16 casualties out of 65, okay? So we got 16 casualties. They're all non-ambulatory. They cannot walk. They can all see, they can all hear, but they cannot walk. I don't care how you break it up. You got weight, you got gear, you got people. We have one mile. This is a one mile evolution. It's designed for one reason. Test your strength and your metal. Okay? okay? All, right. All right, let's do it. All right, All right. You got 16. You get eight. Or you get four. 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 16 casualties. We gotta move them a mile. No matter how we want to move them, you can do one on, or you can do fireman's carry, you can do three on one, whatever you guys think is necessary. Okay? Hey, we got enemy reinforcements coming in from the north. Let's go! Okay. Hey, let's go. I'll have the letter. Get your stuff and move out. Grab the letter. Put your legs on his shoulders. We need help. I need somebody, yeah, seriously. Legs are all the way up there on your shoulder. All the way up. There you go. Yes! And then, yeah, if you get under his arm. Oh, that's great. Wow. You got it? Where's my company commander? Where's my company commander? How did you prepare for this? How do you prepare for anything else? Get right, get right. School. Get right with it. Live right. Live right. right. Hey, recover. You, recover. Go be an asset. Hurry up. There it get is. up there. Yeah. Hurry up. Find a way to help your team get forward. Go, 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 go. 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 Hurry up. Let's go. Okay. Three, three burpees per. Okay. Okay. Gather close. Gather around. Perimeter there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Contra is willing to forego the casualties. However, we have to do three burpees per casualty. Currently now. Hi. Hi. Oh, there we go. Hi. Ready the rock stacks, you know it. Oh yeah, hell yeah. With the rock right. stacks. Start. That's 45. Count the casualties. How many do we have? Let's go. 16. 10 casualties. Make it happen. Right. You know what I want. Line them up. Make this happen. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to get ready. Single file line starting on a fly! About this I want to emphasize one thing we are all on the same team all of us we just have a different job if you don't come out and perform we don't get to realize and self-actualize for ourselves we plan we drive around we come in early we look around we find things we found all kinds of good shit didn't we <laughs> that stuff doesn't happen unless you go out and make it happen you are important to us 
really, really important to us. That's why we do it. We could just show up and go, eh, not on this team. It's only a piece of cloth, but I promise you, I promise you, I am telling you the truth. The most important things I've ever actually earned. Gone through, towed the line, worked my ass up, got my ass worked, showed up at the end, and had somebody give me a piece of cloth. One time it said U.S. Army on it. One time it had a Ranger tab. Another time it had a Greenberry Special Forces tab. Some of the most important things I've ever put on my body. A piece of the cloth just like this. Made of the exact same materials. I could grab you. Been told. I don't know what I've been told. We came to work out in the cold. We came to work out in the cold. In the gloom or in the shine. In the gloom or in the shine. In the gloom we are refined. In the gloom we are refined. We make down payments every week. We make down payments every week. We pay the price for our physique. We pay the price for our physique. The brotherhood that is F3. The brotherhood that is F3. Strengthens you, it strengthens me. It strengthens you, it strengthens me. The three Fs help us all to be. The three Fs help us all to be. Leaders in our community. Leaders in our community. Stay fit, take care of your body. Stay fit, take care of your body. First Corinthians 620. First Corinthians 620. Fellowship makes us come alive. Fellowship makes us come alive. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. Hebrews 10, 24, 25.